As part of our used nuclear fuel management program, Energy Northwest periodically removes used fuel assemblies from the steel and concrete pool in the reactor building. The assemblies are safely relocated to our secure dry cask storage area. Energy Northwest recently completed its fourth dry cask storage campaign. During the campaign, nine casks were loaded with 68 fuel assemblies each. For a total of 612 fuel assemblies moved to dry cask storage. The process is meticulously planned and performed with safety as the number one priority. First, an experienced technician on the refueling bridge guides each assembly to a stainless steel, multi-purpose container positioned in the pool. Once the MPC is loaded, the lid, which weighs 10,000 pounds, is welded in place. Then the canister is drained of any moisture. The MPC is later married to its concrete and steel overpack for transport to the independent spent fuel storage installation, or ISFACI. This is where things get really slow. The vehicle that carries the 185-ton fully loaded cask to the ISFACI moves at 0.3 miles per hour. That earned it the nickname Greased Lightning. About 90 minutes later, the cask is positioned on one of two specially built concrete pads. The containers are designed and built to protect against the most extreme conditions, including earthquakes, tornadoes, and floods. These temporary storage areas were put in place to house used fuel until a permanent national repository is licensed and built. Until that happens, used nuclear fuel remains safely and securely stored, allowing nuclear energy facilities such as Columbia Generating Station to continue producing reliable, cost-effective, clean energy.